Hey guys, in this video, we're going to continue our challenge in solving all of HackerRank's easy Python questions. So last time we stopped in TextRap. Let us open the timer and let's start. So you're given a string S and width Y. Your task is to wrap the string into a paragraph with width Y. The first line contains string S, the second line contains the width Y. Print the text wrapped in, in paragraph. Mm, okay. Import text wrap. So I'm supposed to do something with text wrap. Python text wrap. Text wrap. Um, let's check out the documentation. Wrap text with uh, text and width basically return text wrap string max width max width three days three cell back error file solution at py y line 10 in module 10 result equal wrap string max width py okay what's wrong module object is not callable it's not callable what's wait what's wrong with this uh, okay let me check uh, let me check what's wrong result wrap string max width I simply take in the max width uh, the text wrap wrap text mm -hmm. dot shorten uh, what about if I shorten? No, no, shorten doesn't work. Shorten uh, text wrap dot fill dot wrap text wrap dot wrap text wrap module provides some convenience. Okay, so, so I think it's like that. It's like return text wrap dot wrap text string and max width. Your output A, B, C, D, E, F, G, uh, okay, okay, yeah, I probably have to join it like that. Um, the join over here, yeah, the join text, no wait, the join. Uh, how is it? Join, okay, yeah, join like that. This way, like that, mostly. Text wrap and dot join. Okay, now array r equal this. Then over here, I simply do this. So I so I join the all of the elements into array, and I separate them by a new line. So it's gonna be AR. This should work. Yep. Submit code. Test case one. Test case four. Do not fail me. Yep. Let's go. Okay, next challenge. Okay, designer doormat. Uh, Mr. Vincent works in a doormat manufacturing company. One day he designed a new doormat with the following specifications. Mat size must be n times m, n is an odd natural number and m is 3 times n. The design should have welcome written in the center. The design pattern should only use these, these characters. 7 times 21, 11 times 30, 31. Ah, shit, no. Enter your code, read input from STN in and print output from STD out. Mm hmm. This is a very interesting question. And print output to STD out now. So in. Uh, we take we take one input actually yeah one input so let's see let's let's write x equal input print x uh, 
Okay, you want to output 721. Okay, uh, God, this is gonna be long. So, the first number it it's determines for us the must be n times m. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So the first number is the height. The second number is the width. So I presume 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Uh -huh. And then it's 3 times 21. M is 3 times N. Uh, 3 times N. Uh huh. I think it's gonna be like a, it's gonna be like a for loop. Now I'm gonna check if it's if it's in the center. Okay, I'm gonna check probably if if it's in the center. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Wait. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Yeah. If it's in the center, I'm gonna simply print out. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Huh. Then I have to print what welcome in the... It's gonna have to be like some sort of substring or something like that. So it starts with... The issue is with the is with the 27. How, how is that gonna work? The pattern should only use these characters mat size must be n times m n n is an odd natural number in m is 3 times n the design should have welcome written in the center and m is 3 times n so mm -hmm. let's open uh, let's actually draw this out So, let's say if it's uh, if it's two by three. No, uh, it it can't, can't be two by three. It should be it should be two by six. If it's two by six, then it's gonna be one. It's gonna be one line. It's gonna start like that. Then 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and probably say like welcome here. No, uh, it can't work because yeah, n should be greater than 5. So if it's like the, the minimum amount. It should be at least 15. 5 by 15, 7 by 21. Here it has two, like, so how do we determine whether to use or when to use these? Right now it's 1, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. God, this doesn't make any sense. Wait, 1, 2, th so it always uses. If it's so at every row it doubles or what? At, it starts with one, then moves on to three. One, two, three, four, five. Ah, okay. So n n is an odd natural number. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah, so so this is always odd. One, three, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay, so this is always an, an odd number. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm gonna have. I'm gonna. It's gonna be like. I first of all I have to separate the, 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 the input. User input is equal input. And, and after that, I separate the, the two numbers. So if I print user input, it's gonna return for me. 
can return for me 7 and 21 as what as strings or time type class string yeah uh is python separate strings separate strings string dot split yeah string dot split separator okay now inputs equal user input dot split then print inputs let's see what this is gonna get us okay 7 and 21 okay we have this working well now now we have the uh, n is equal to n is equal to inputs 0 m is equal to inputs 1 um, we know we can have this number of columns columns and rows no actually, no, actually this is rows and this is columns now input 0 1 and so f I'm gonna have to loop through all of these and then inside them loop as like so it's gonna be a loop of new lines okay um before that let me add results equal this now for every for every row for every row I should have these and it has to be odd so Mm hmm interesting now for I in rows print I uh, then then this should give me one two three four five six seven there are my output seven no for for i in range 0 to till i rows print 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 i ah uh, this should return for me 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 str cannot be cannot be interpreted as okay this should be uh int I think it's like that. Int Okay, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six. From range to one. Rows plus one basically. This should give me one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Now for every row we we do another for loop in range one till columns plus one for iron range one for iron range one and plus one results plus um, for 
not I. Let's say let's put this k for k in range uh, result if if k greater than no wait if k is less than now how do we calculate this 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 do we do like a switch statement wait in python there are no switch cases oh god how do i do this Mr. Vincent works in a doormat manufacturing company. One day he designed a new doormat with the following specifications. Mat size must be n times n. n is n is an odd natural number, so n is always odd. Hmm. How the hell do we decide this? How the hell do we decide this? Let's see. So it starts off. It's gonna be. Let's let's say it's gonna be five times fifteen. Then start with one two. It's gonna start one two three four five. Then it's gonna go. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and then it's gonna take one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Wait, so it's gonna take approximately here. It's gonna add uh, one. Wait, let's see the thing over here this is one two three four five six seven eight nine nine plus one two three four five six seven eight nine nine plus nine which is it's eighteen then wait so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten one two, okay so i'm it must be one two three four five six seven eight one two three four five six seven so one two one two three four five six wait one two three four five six one two three four five six seven no I, if i put it here one two three four five six one two three four five six seven Eight, 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 yeah, yeah. Now wait, if I do this here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it starts here, and then it goes, and then it goes dot, dot. After that, one, two, three, four, dot, dot. Dot. How does this work? No, it starts with three also. Dot, 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 dot. One, two, three, four, five. Then, then once again goes like dot, 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 dot line dot line dot one uh, yeah, uh, and I have to add one more here that like that one two three then in these to be fair it should it should say welcome here so welcome now how do uh, now how do I translate this to code or how does this work in the first place? Nine twenty seven. Um, for if k, it it checks if it's odd. So wait, it checks if it's in the center. Ooh. 
uh, this is really difficult to understand. Uh, it's a simple problem, but when you actually want to code this, it's not that simple. Well, it probably is simple, but it isn't that obvious. So we go for between each row. Okay, just uh, let me write some some pseudocode. Um, add columns, and then here add add rows. I add rows result that append uh, if I add like the results that append I think so or add so uh, result dot add, add 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 or append or concatenate or what uh, python uh, python string append something like that and how do I append one line to another line in python S plus SDRI dot append. Now uh, it should be result uh, plus equal this thing, this, this, and then. me right here add, add columns add rows it's good then add, I also do this result equal uh, slash n yeah result backslash and okay uh, how do I add print add new line to string python python add new line to string Get message hello uh, backslash n. Ah, uh, yeah, uh, this was full slash backslash n. Okay, so I have some sort of like canvas to work with here. Now, after that, I have these to do. But how do these? Okay, um. How about I just do this in the center? So, okay, so that's so the first plan is just to do this for now. After that, I'm gonna f figure out how these works and then finally this. Now if 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 result if i is equal to equal to I'm gonna add here a center uh, center row is equal to rows rows divided by two 
it's going to be uh, rows divided by 2 if it's equal to center row then for now let me add in like a capital C so I should see dashes and then then the, la then the middle line should be f full of C's Hmm. I I result plus equal to C center row. Uh, what is center row? Center row. Ah, uh, it's three point five. God. Um. Now, how do I do this? How do I get the center row? If, yeah, if, um, let's see, if range, if range i till zero, if range from i now from 0, 1 till i is this is equals equal I think like dot length or something is equal equal to range i till rows plus one <sighs> if range one till if if range what is this gonna uh, uh, return print range zero till two Range zero to two. No, 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 no. I needed the. You know what? I do not need this. Just let me get the. Now, distance left distance equal uh, equal rows rows plus plus one mi minus minus i right distance it's gonna be simply rows minus i no um it's gonna be so the left distance so how many have have already passed yeah the this should be right if i do this like that And then right distance should be here and then for the right distance it's simply gonna be um, what's left so range I till I till Rows plus rows plus one plus one dot or make it be like that then print left left distance.
can try it. Right distance. Anyways, just let me stop this for now. Okay. Left distance and right distance. If if left distance is equal equal to right distance if they're both equal and so, so this is when I print welcome text I print the welcome text mm. okay so for now just let me do result plus equal to let's say something like C Uh, what's wrong with this? Uh, unexpected indent block. That equals equal. Bro. Bro, what is wrong with this? Ah, uh, yeah, this is supposed to be like that. No, it's supposed to be like that. For when this finishes, do this, then if statement. Man, what is wrong with this? Is it is it like that? Okay, if I... Then why is this giving me an error? If I just... Man, this doesn't make any sense. Why is this still giving me an error? So anyways guys, I do not want this video to get really long, so we'll probably come back to this question next time.